Even though when I was little I had these dreams of being an astrophysicist, I don't think it was, wasn't until college um, when I decided that okay, this is, this is what I really want to do. When I went to graduate school though, I was considered non-traditional student. Um, I took a gap year working as a contractor for the Air Force, so a lot of my physics knowledge kind of leaked out <clears throat> and I had a lot of issues keeping up with the rest of my peers. On top of that, I was the only, the only woman in my class, the only black, the only Mexican, the only lesbian. It was a lot of onlys and I felt isolated and I moved up north um, lack of sun, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was very, you know, just ostracized and I felt like an outcast. So I knew that the physics was going to be challenging. Like I think everybody goes in knowing physics is going to be hard. I didn't know how much the other stuff was going to be hard and how much it would affect how well I do in the classes. So that I think that was one of the the biggest challenges was keep, to keep on going even though I felt like I didn't belong. Mike Rune is, you know, the largest liquid argon time projection chamber in the United States. Um, the software development for um, studying the data that's coming out of the detector, that's, that's new. Studying neutrinos, that's, you know, very new. <laughs> I just like the idea that nobody else knows what I know. Which, you know, sounds like super vain, <laughs> but I think every graduate student that comes in um, to study physics is an expert, you know, in what they studied. And that knowledge can be used later down the line. And I think that's, that's really cool, that it's not this, um, prestigious white man knowledge that only they can learn and pass down, that I have the ability to, to teach and to, you know, transfer knowledge that I found down to other people. That it's not just this, you know, people on a mantle kind of thing, that it's accessible to, to me, to everybody, to people that look like me.